Hey everybody, it's Eric, 80s Horror Man here, and welcome to day 14 for my 31 Days of Horror. Today, I'm doing a movie that was done in 1986. This is a two-disc edition. One's got the theatrical version, and the other's the director's cut version, and thanks to Screen Factory for putting this out. This movie is my number one favorite horror movie of all time, and that's Night of the Creeps. This movie, you definitely cannot say nothing bad about this movie because this movie is basically about where an alien experiment crashes the earth and as soon as it ends up uh, getting a young you know, frat boy here in the 1950s these are 27 years later in 1986 two fraternity pledges end up uh, pulling a prank with a dead body and they accidentally let the, the slugic creatures loose on campus. So they kind of end up freeing the frozen body from the 1950s. Here's it of that frat boy who's got the little creep inside of him. I mean, out of a cryogenetics lab. And that now that he's uh, loose, he's like uh, letting all these creeps, the slugic creatures, loose on campus and these slug like creatures they get into your mouths and turn you into zombies and it doesn't matter whether you're alive or dead so boy, this movie is actually a lot of fun there's a lot of famous lines especially done by Tom Atkins who's definitely best known for this movie and he said that this is his favorite movie that he liked doing so where his favorite his most recognizable line is the word, thrill me. But he also has some other recognizable lines, like where he says, it's Miller time. And the most recognizable one that he ends up saying, in the, the, the tagline that's on the, the cover of this poster, where he looks out the window and he says, I got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. <laughs> so, we're this movie is definitely a blast. You, this is just so much fun. You definitely cannot say nothing bad about this movie. <laughs> this movie also has Jason Lively, who's also known for playing Rusty in European Vacation. And him and I are good friends. We keep in contact. This movie also has uh, Steve Marshall and Joe Vettlowinus. And it was just such a huge honor to meet all four of the cast members and get a group shot picture taken with them at the ScareCon event back in 2016 at the Turnstone Casino at the ScareCon event when they had the 30th anniversary and reunion for this movie. And I have so many autographed pictures of Jason Lively from this movie. So the soundtrack is pretty good as well because if you listen to the soundtrack you hear the little skittering sound of the creeps. But overall, this movie is just a, a complete blast. It, it's just so much fun, and I highly recommend checking this movie out for those who hasn't seen it. But if you have seen this movie, you definitely know what I'm talking about, because this is my number one favorite horror movie of all time, and that's definitely not going to change at all whatsoever. This is just going to stay as my number one favorite horror movie of all time. So, out of a possible 10... I give this movie nine and a half out of ten because it, because it, this movie is such a good time to watch and it's just so much fun. So this movie does have special features on both discs, the theatrical and the director's cut. So Night of the Creeps, I highly recommend checking this movie out because this movie is so much fun. It's just a good time to watch. All right, guys. So that's my review for my. 31 Days of Horror on Day 14 on Night of the Creeps. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you seen this movie before? If you have, please let me know in the comments down below. And like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for some more videos. Later.